finishing well and what is finish what what is to finish finishing or to finish is to complete a task when you are finishing there must be something that you have been doing that uh, is a is coming to an end is an end of something it is a uh, uh, like a, a final stage amen and then well it is it is good it is something good something uh, that brings satisfactory well you know now we can say finishing well uh, is completing a task satisfactorily amen uh, finishing well is uh, completing a task satisfactorily so what are the benefits of finishing well there are many benefits of finishing the journey that you have started well hallelujah uh, number point number one uh, there is survival legacy all you endure you endure legacy there is endurance there is survival meaning that there is continuity there is uh, there is high chances if there is survival legacy there is a uh, continuity there is a uh, high chances of whatever you are doing will continue or we will endure hallelujah you know when i was thinking about this message and praying about it I was thinking about how the people, uh, even the, uh, when you start something, if, when you start a business, you want to, to sustain it. You want it to endure. Even during hardship times, you are not looking forward to failing. So therefore, there is finishing. You are looking at the finishing points. You are looking at the results that you are going to get at the end of doing that business and therefore we see in jesus jesus christ uh, preaching and teaching his disciples and we see that jesus left a legacy that we are living in uh, even now we because it is because he endured it is because he endured everything it is because he endured all the affliction that is legacy is still living is legacy is still what we are following hallelujah because we are the legacy of him we are the legacy he left a uh, legacy to to his disciples to bring on the gospel to the people until now the gospel is still being spread because there is survival legacy there is endurance there is endurance of of what he has been doing hallelujah in john in john uh, john 14 and verse 12 jesus even said he promised that whoever believes he will he, they will who, whoever believes will even do greater things John 14 and verse 12 Verily, verily, I say unto you He that believeth on me The works that I do I shall I do Shall he do also And greater works than this Shall he do because I go Unto my father So Jesus Knew he wanted to leave A legacy that people that will follow him people that will believe in him will even do greater things people that believe in him will live a greater legacy even than him you know most of the time we don't live uh, to accomplish or to to finishing line we don't reach to our finishing point well because we are withdrawing what god has given us jesus did not care if if he mentor 
people or if he ministers to people, there are people that are going to get that uh, and run with it and be, do greater things. He was not afraid that those that will come will do greater things than him. Hallelujah. He was doing it knowing I am teaching these people and even if they believe in me, they will do greater than I am doing. Amen. So most of the time we withdraw what God has given us. God has given you a gift probably to leave a legacy and you withdraw the gift. You don't want to use your gifts because you are withdrawing and therefore you don't get to your finishing point well. Amen. You don't get to finish well because sometimes it is not meant for us to come and finish. There are people, okay, we reach to a point whereby it is time for us to exit, but there are people that are supposed to come and continue what you have been doing. You have a nice vocal. You can teach somebody to come. Maybe you are not, uh, you are not supposed to, to become a, a songwriter or become a singer but you can mentor somebody and he can come and, and do a great song hallelujah that can be a blessing to the nation but you, you are withdrawing so you don't finish or you don't get your legacy your legacy does not endure your legacy does not survive therefore when you want to have that continuity. You have to mentor people. Hallelujah. You have to mentor the people that will come and get your legacy. So on my points, let's say A on survival legacy, I will be talking about mentorship. Mentorship. When you uh, you you have the benefits of finishing well legacy of survival number one thing that you should do is that you must become a mentor you must become a motivator hallelujah tell somebody you must become a motivator you must mentor someone hallelujah don't feel jealousy because we are all in this journey to work for the, for in the house of God. Hallelujah. We are in this journey to finish well. We are in this doing this together so that God can enable us to finish together. So you have to mentor someone. Just like we have said in, in John 14, 12, that we will do greater things. You have the knowledge to impact others. You have a, and great Linda is the one who leaves legacy. That is why you see our pastor want to mentor us. That is why he is giving us a chance to minister here. It is because there is a legacy he is building. Hallelujah. I don't know in your department what kind of legacy you are building. Are you impacting the people with the skills that you have acquired? Are you impacting the people that even you, uh, you see maybe struggling in business and you have, you can be able to mentor them with the skills of business or you are keeping it for yourself? What legacy will you leave? Hallelujah. Ask somebody what legacy will you leave as a Linda? Hmm? Because as a Linda, you have to leave a legacy. That's a good Linda. Hallelujah. You, that's why you have to give out the knowledge that you have acquired. You have to give your personal uh, ability, whatever that you are able to, to, to do, assist somebody also to do it. Hallelujah. You have to give your time. That is why you are here this early morning. Someone else is sleeping because of the rain. 
but you have been able to be in the presence of the Lord because there is a legacy. There is somebody you want, uh, uh, there is somebody you are motivating to come. Hmm? Isikuwe tu unahamuka hasubui. Unasema I am going to church. Be a motivator. Hallelujah. For you to finish well in this journey, you have to become uh, a good uh, motivator. You know, there is one person that challenges me here uh, because uh, of the way, the ability. The ability to motivate other people. The ability not to withdraw the knowledge that they have acquired. Uh, even when I came to this church, there is another one who used to tell me how a certain sister assisted her in a journey to become who they are. Or to become a worshiper. Hallelujah. I don't know what kind of a legacy you want to leave when you come to your finishing points. Hallelujah. That is why we have to, to ask uh, to ask God to give us knowledge, to give us grace to impact the people of Christ. To give us uh, grace to be able to release what God has given us. Hallelujah. Uh, as a Linda, you are not supposed to uh, withdraw your skills and your knowledge that you have acquired. Because if you withdraw, you are not going to mentor people. Sometimes I think we are given, our pastor finds us until eh, it overflows. Because he wants to leave a legacy. He wants to reach a certain point whereby we will sing. He won't be saying that I ran this race. You know, I fought a good fight. I have mentored people. People like me, wherever I will go, I will continue to say, you know, I met one man who changed my life. I don't know about you. When you exit, when you reach your point of finishing, how will we exit? Are there people that will be saying, this person made me who I am. This person has built me. That is the question I want you to ask yourself this morning. Because in Philippians, Philippians uh, 1 and verse 6, the good God who started good work in you, he must accomplish, he must perform. Hallelujah. Being confident of this very thing that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Whatever God starts, he must finish. Hallelujah. God has given you a ministry. God has given you a, a, a ministry to be able to help in serving God, in doing service kingdom service do it because it will endure hallelujah God has given you the grace to endure until to the finishing line amen Paul you know Paul Paul one of the people that mentored uh, mentored other, other uh, brethren is Paul. Paul mentored Timothy and he equipped him with the knowledge. He equipped him for the task of the ministry. Hallelujah. He gave him all he needed to, to succeed. He empowered him to succeed in the ministry. We even see him a uh, giving him task in hardship places so that he, he learn to be effective. Hallelujah. Uh, some of you have been given, eh, equipped, you have been equipped for a, 
a certain task. You have been equipped to succeed. You have been equipped to finish well. Hallelujah. And to be able to become a good successor. Hallelujah. You know, even if, even when we look at a family setup of succession, every good uh, parents, he want to have, and who want to have a legacy, must raise children that are able, that in beliefs, this one is the one that is going to take my legacy. There is that one that you believe, this one. If I leave the land to this one, he is not going to take it from the others. If I leave my properties to this one, he is not going to take it. Because he has been tried. Hallelujah. And the parent knows this one can succeed, can become a, our successor. Hallelujah. Even in the ministry, there is that one that your mentor is looking at and is saying this one has been proven hallelujah for you to become a successor you have to be proven amen you have to be tried because timothy was tried hallelujah he was taken to hardship places to go and preach the gospel and he was able to conquer because paul and equipped him Amen. To go and conquer in the ministry. To do the work of Christ. Hallelujah. In Philippians 2 and verse 22. Philippians 2. And verse 22. I want to read it in NIV. I want to read it in NIV. The Bible says, I press on to ones. Sorry, I'm reading the Philippians, another one. Philippians 2, NIV. Oh, it's here. But you know that Timothy has proved himself. Because as a son with his father, he has served me, he has served with me in the work of the gospel. You see, Paul is even referring Timothy as a son. Hallelujah. So that's why Ukiskia, Pastor Kikuita, her son, eh? you are a son. It is because you have to prove yourself that you are truly a son. Hallelujah. Because we see here that Timothy has proved himself. Amen. Timothy proved himself that as Paul was coming to the end of his journey, as he was coming to finish, to the finishing point, he made sure that he has mentored Timothy. And Timothy had proved himself. Hallelujah. For you to become a son, you have to prove yourself. Eh? Yeah? Sio kuja utuambie mimi I am a daughter of Pastor Isaac eh? I am a son You know a son is a hmm, Ni Kwa unjumula We are all sons eh? Both daughters and both the eh, gents We are all the sons Hallelujah Therefore for you For him to know for sure This one is my son And that even if I come to an end of uh, uh, when the time comes, I will say this one has proved to be a son. Hallelujah. Tell somebody you have to prove yourself to be a son. Eh, you have to prove. We will see and we will know if for sure you are a son. Hallelujah. Aha. Uh -huh. So, Timothy, when. Um, when uh, when uh, when Paul was mentoring a uh, uh, was mentoring uh, Timothy, it was he was coming to an end. 
and he said in 2 Timothy 2 Timothy uh, 4 and verse 7 that he has, he has fought a good fight finished a race and kept the faith I don't know when you come to an end when maybe you have reached uh, your hinge to exit the ministry I don't know if you will be saying you are fights you are fought and good fights so in the before you come to the finishing points what I got from this verse is that before you come to the finishing point you have to fight amen before you come to the hand of finishing well you must fight so there are many things that will be along this journey along the race that you are running there are many struggles that will come and you will find yourself struggling there are many things that will come and stand on your way but you have to fight hallelujah sometimes you might feel that you are low you are not feeling like you can pray but you have to push hallelujah when you you feel that way that is when you have to pray a lot that is when you have to push because there is something that is standing on your way not to finish hallelujah therefore you have there is a fight you have to fight even for your business when you feel like this business it's coming to a point that maybe it's coming to an end that is the time to start thinking what can I do different what can I do to change the struggle because there is a fight before finishing points hallelujah just like uh, Paul said that he has fought a good fight my prayer is that we will say we have fought a good fight as the ministers of this church hallelujah even for our church uh, as we help to serve and uh, assist the man of God we have to fight hallelujah because there are many things that are standing on the way there are many things that are trying to hinder your service therefore you have to fight hallelujah you have to push on for you to reach to the finishing point and he says uh, he continues to say that uh, he kept the faith amen so you have also to keep the faith hallelujah at the hand of the journey at the hand uh, you have to say that you have kept the faith in Christ you have kept the faith in his work you have kept the faith in lifting the, the lives of other brethren hallelujah so we have to fight we have to keep our faith look at uh, the people that runs the people that uh, the athletics you know they look forward to the finishing and when they finish that journey they will say for sure eh nimekimbia eh unasikia kweli there is something that you have done they have fought to defeat the other the others to become number one hallelujah may God give us the grace uh, to finish well Proverbs 13 and verse 12 uh, a good man is the one who leaves inheritance to his children children you know that is why I said that mentoring you have to mentor you have to have successors you have 
you know, the inheritance that you are leaving, mostly you leave them to the people you know this one ata endelezwa, ata peleka mbele, hallelujah. They will push on. It will continue. It will not have uh, it will finish well. You, will, you have finished well and now you have given your children all the inheritance because you have fought. You have done business. You wake up very early in the morning to try and get make uh, finances. And when you get the riches, when you get the properties, you give them to your successor. Hallelujah. Let's also try to leave the inheritance that we have inherited as ministers and even as the people of God. The inheritance that we have, uh, we have built. The inheritance that we are inheriting from our mentor, hallelujah, we have to pass it on, amen. Because a good man is the one who leaves inheritance to his children, children. So, si you equate with ministry, if you have a child that you can say, this one, I have given inheritance and I know she will take it to another, to your grandchildren, in the ministry. Hallelujah. Yeah, ni vizuri kuwa na watoto wa kiroho. Amen. Yeah, so that you can give them the inheritance. As you finish well, you have to give them the inheritance. You have to give them your, what you have learned. The wisdom that, and skills that you've gotten in the ministry. So that they can also pass it on to generation and generations. Hallelujah. Um, point number two of benefits of finishing well. Is that there is reward. There is a reward to those who finish well. There is always a reward to those who finish well. First Corinthians First Corinthians verse nine chapter nine and verse twenty four. Know ye not that they which run in a race, run, uh, race, run all, but one receives the price, so run that you may obtain it. Hallelujah. So, if you are running a race, there must be a price. When you reach to the finishing point, there is always a price. So run a race knowing as you serve Christ in your ministry that the Lord has given you that there is a price for whatever that you are doing in the house of God. Hallelujah. So do it knowing that there is a price. There is a reward. Hallelujah. Don't do it like you are being pushed. Do it knowingly. That there is a price. Look at the athletics. All the people that run. Eh? How they run. To get to the finishing point. Being number one. It is because of what? It is because they know. At the finishing point. At that. Uh, uh, finishing. Well. There is a price awaiting them. Hallelujah. This is the same in ministry. Because we have, we have heard that there is a reward. There is a price in this race that we are running. Hallelujah. Therefore, don't 
uh, and it continues to say that you should not uh, run aimlessly. Hallelujah. You don't run like somebody who doesn't know where they are going. Mm, hallelujah. Do not run uh, in verse 26. Therefore, I do not, I'm reading in NIV, therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. Amen. You should not run like somebody who doesn't have focus, who doesn't know where they are going. If you have to reach to your finishing points, you have to run with focus. Hallelujah. You have to run knowing there is a price. Amen. Even those kuna uh, hizo uh, lines sijui zinaitwaje that watu wakikimbia wanafuata a certain line. Sawa sawa. So whenever you are they are running they follow they make sure they stick to that line. Amen. So when you are running don't be like today you are in dominion tomorrow you are in in uh, AIC, the other day you are in Catholic, the other day you are, you lose focus. Therefore, you cannot reach your price. Hallelujah. You cannot reach to the finishing points. Therefore, when you are running, have the focus that I am running a race and there is a reward at the end of it. Hallelujah. I am running a race in the service that I'm doing in the house of God and at the end of this race I am running there is a price Amen kwa hivyo hata kukinyesha unakuja Amen kukinyesha bado unahubiri yes because we have to be in during the season and out of season hallelujah because we are focused if you lose your line, there is no price. Amen. So stay in your line for you to reach to the finishing points. As I wrap up, let's read in the book of uh, Philippians. Philippians 3 and verse 16. says that only let us live up to what we have already attained. Is it 316? I want the one that is saying uh, I press towards goal. Yes. Philippians uh, Hallelujah. I ran on once or two ones. It's fourteen, eh? Verse fourteen says, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me even once in Christ Jesus. So therefore you have to press where? Two ones. The price. Amen. As you serve God in the ministry that God has given you. For you to get the price. And to reach. To your finishing. You have to press on ones. Or you have to press two ones. And goal to win. Amen. You have to press to once a mark for the price. Hallelujah. Because if you lose the focus, you will not get the rewards. Amen. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 
7 and verse 8 that then beginning the hand of a matter is better than the beginning hallelujah so it does not matter how you have begun this journey but if you keep the focus you will achieve or you will finish this journey well hallelujah you might have fallen on the way yes but as so long as you keep on pressing as so long as you keep fighting you will finally complete or finish your journey well hallelujah you might have maybe left the way you must have lost the way but if you fight you continue fighting you will come to an end being successful hallelujah you will come to your finishing points with a reward because there is a price for those who run with focus there is a price for you hallelujah second john and verse one chapter one and verse eight get a reward for you to get a reward you must look into yourself so that you may not lose what you have worked for you have come very far since you got born again hallelujah you have come very very far since uh, you began serving God so you have to look on yourself so that you don't lose what you have worked for i am sure you have worked for something hallelujah for you to be where you are you must have worked for you to be able to minister you must have worked hallelujah because there are many people who are desiring who come to church and they desire to serve but for you you decided i am going to finish well I am going to work for Christ and you made the decision and you have been working on it each day for you to finish well. Hallelujah. So look every time. Keep looking on yourself so that you don't lose what you have worked for. And at the end of the day, you will get your reward. Hallelujah. Let's all rise up.